Okay, so, so this video is to show you how to work with your uh, text pattern content management system driven website. So what we're going to do is we'll show you, uh, just give you a little bit of a tour of the back end first. Uh, this is assuming you're already logged in. Uh, we've sent you instructions on how to log in in a separate email. So taking a look here, you can see it's kind of a tab system, and we have several different main areas. Uh, content. Uh, this is the main area you'll be using. This is where you uh, write all your articles, edit what's currently in there, upload images, files, all those things. Uh, presentation is another area. Um, this deals with, uh, it has specialized code which uh, describes how your website should be laid out and present to the uh, people viewing your site. So you want to stay out of this area. Any changes that you make in here could result in uh, serious problems in the way the site shows to your users or it might actually just bring the whole site down entirely. So you want to make sure you stay out of that presentation area. Admin, uh, generally you'll stay out of here as well. If you are a um, the top level publisher, you can add user accounts in here as well as change your password. And uh, the other one is extensions. Once again, this has to do with the way the site works. You want to stay out of this area. Uh, and view site, if you press this tab, it'll simply open up a new uh, tab or window in your browser that'll show you what the uh, uh, web user would be seeing when they, so basically it opens your website in a new tab. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll show you how to edit um, an existing article within Text Pattern. So um, articles are the same thing as what you might call pages. So it's everything that's uh, displaying on your site. Um, we can, if we're within the content tab here, we're going to go to articles. And once we're in there, we get a listing of all of the different articles or pages that are available on our site. Now we can sort those as well to make it easier for us to find things by ID number, uh, the section that that particular thing is in, um, who made the page, those sorts of ideas. Um, so I often just sort by title. If I'm looking for a particular page, put some in alphabetical order. And we're going to go to this page I've made called Sample Layout Page. So this is what a page looks like. Uh, within text pattern. So um, we have a few different options here. Usually you're going to leave it set as live. Um, it comes up default as that. A sticky page is the top page of a section. So usually that page has already been created for you and um, if you need to change the information on that you want to go and edit that existing article as opposed to creating a new one. Um, you can also make something a draft um, which is just you're working on it but you don't want it to show up on the site yet. Um, if your site makes use of categories you may need to select one there um, but you always need to put it in a section and sections are generally going to be the navigation buttons that you'll find on your on your site so this particular one resides in a section called contact. Um, it might reside in about us or any number of different sections on your particular site but it's where you would like it to show up in what section and, and the corresponding navigation. Anyways, this is how we uh, write our article. So we're going to give it a title, which appears in the top here. This is usually this is what will appear as your navigation as well. So how you format this is how it will show up in your navigation. And you can see I've made a whole bunch of different uh, tags on here. This is how we work with text pattern. We can just write regular text like this paragraph is written here, or we can use special um, codes to change the way the text is formatted. Now you can find those by going to textile help. We've also created a page on your site called uh, Sample Layout Page, same as this one is here, uh, which just gives you some examples of the tags and makes it easier for you to follow them. So you'll see a header um, gives it H and then a number dot, just like I've done here. This is an H2 tag. And you want to make sure you press a return and have a full space in there so that it knows that was the end of the header. Uh, here's an example of how to do an H3, H4. Um, bulleted lists are done by putting a uh, asterisk in front of the number, in front of the uh, well, the items in your list. Um, this is how we would do italics with the underscore. Bold is done with an asterisk, but without the space in between, as it's done there. Um, if we want to create a link to a, a, either a page within the site or a different site, uh, you would do that by using quotation marks, and this is the text that's going to show up as the link and then we use a colon and the address of the site we're wanting to link to. Um, if we would like to insert an image from an external site, 
Um, this is how we do that. We use the exclamation point. We put in the address of the image and then another exclamation point. We can use that to um, link to images within our site as well, but there's a simpler way to do that and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. Um, once we finish that all, um, and, and your site may use the excerpt feature or not, and uh, that would be in specific instructions for your site. So once we finish doing our editing, whatever it is we want to change, um, we would press the Save button, and that would uh, allow us to save that page and publish it to the web. Your site uh, may also use uh, advanced options um, to either place pictures in particular spots, um, override um, certain forms or recipients. If your site does use advanced options, you'll get specific instructions about that in your uh, in your own special manual. Uh, so I'll show you what this site, uh, what this page looks like. So this is an example. Uh, we're using the Buckley Valley Printers uh, site as kind of our example learning site. So this is uh, what it looks like when it's actually laid out. So if you remember, we used that H2 tag, and this is what an H2 tag looks like. So it's ways of making headings. Um, oh, and there's the image that we inserted there, and this is how we make our link. So that's uh, quite simply how you work with uh, articles in text pattern if you wanted to edit an article. Now, if you want to write uh, a new article, it's very much the same procedure, except instead of going to Articles and selecting one that already exists, we're going to use the Write tab. We'll click on that. That gives us a blank slate. Uh, we can give this the title, whatever we want to call it, assign it to a particular section, and then we're going to write our text and publish that article. So it's exactly the same thing, only we're starting from scratch and assigning it to a particular section. So that's how you work uh, with articles in text pattern. Okay, the last thing we'll show you with uh, working with the uh, pages within your site. From time to time you may need to delete uh, a particular page and the way you're going to do that, if you go to your content section and a list of your articles, find the page that it is that you wanted to delete. Um, so in this case it could be anything but what you want to do is you're going to select the little box next to the one you would like to delete. So if we wanted to delete history, for example, we're going to check that box. And then with selected here, and this is the important part, we're going to go to delete. And then we would press the go button and that page would be deleted. It's that simple.